Hey guys, what I wanted to show you was my Sears Die Hard Platinum Portable Power. And um, what happens with this thing is if you don't charge it every month or so and let it, you know, plug it in and let the battery recharge, eventually the battery will die. And that's what happened with me. I got a little bit lazy, didn't plug it in, and then all of a sudden, the battery's not working anymore. So what I wanted to do is show you guys how to change the battery. And I ordered a battery. I'll put the link for that underneath. Um, so one of the first things you want to do is flip the device over and um, there's a few screws on a plastic uh, compartment like a door that you would have to remove so um, you re remove the screws like I'm showing you here all the way around and that whole plastic part on the bottom uh, will come off there it is you can see me taking that part off and um, from here you'll expose the battery and once the battery is exposed you can see the battery um, in the back it connects with two screws a positive and a negative screw so um, you're going to need to take those screws out um, so what I did at this point is I flipped it back up and I'm looking at the back side of the unit uh, so it would be easier to you know shimmy the battery out a little bit and take some of the bolts out. Now the bolts that I took off were the ones on the sides, not the ones on the top. Here's a better view of the one on the positive terminal of the battery. So I basically took the nuts off the bolts on both sides and I put the bolts aside. Once the bolts are aside, um, in a safe place that I can remember where I find them, I'm going to uh, remove the battery out of the unit. Now, After I remove the battery out of the unit, you can see it next to the new battery that I ordered online uh, to replace it. And again, I'll have the link for that battery on the bottom so you could find the right battery to put in. Um, it's pretty much identical except for uh, the labeling on it, but it's the same exact battery, same shape, same everything. So I'll take that battery and I'll slide it back in the unit. And once the battery is slid back in the unit, all we have to do is connect up the terminals um, to the battery. Uh, so we basically put it in exactly the same way the other one came out, and we're going to put the bolts back and make sure we tighten them down real good. Here you can see I put the bolt back and tighten it down on the positive side. I made sure that's nice and tight. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the negative side so they're both nice and tight. And there you can see both sides are nice and tight. And at this point I'm able to slide the battery back in so it's seated fully in the device. Alright, so now it's a matter of putting the cover back on and screwing it back down the same way we took it off. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to uh, put everything back on and um, then we'll be ready to plug it in. And one of the things I think is pretty important is to tighten the screws really well but not to over tighten them so that you strip them in the device. Just make them nice and snug so that it is nice and tight. After you're done you can plug it in and you will be able to charge it up. There are two different models of these. Mine has a extension cord plug-in into the back of the device. So I plug one end into the wall, one end to the back of the device of an extension cord. You can see it better in this picture. And uh, there is another version of the same one, an older model, that has a uh, adapter that plugs in. Either way, it's the same deal. Everything's exactly the same. And when you plug it in, you want to leave it in for a couple of days and you'll see the number um, for the percentage charged slowly creep up over the next couple of days. Um, you can see it here is at 98 but um, eventually it will hit 100 as you'll see in the next slide. There it is. Wee. Alright, so that's it. Totally replaced it and it works great. And uh, I hope you guys found this helpful. Replacing the battery is certainly a whole lot uh, less expensive than buying a new unit. 
And I can tell you that I'm not going to make the mistake again of not charging it every month. So, you know, what I did is on my uh, calendar and my Outlook, I have an alert that tells me, hey, don't forget to uh, plug the device in and charge it. So every month I'm putting it in for a couple of days and charging it so that it's always ready and that the battery doesn't die. You know, I happened to leave it for like three or four months um, without charging it and blew it. So hopefully uh, you guys don't do the same thing I did. And uh, again, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.